Hello America, London calling. Now, if I said we had something wild from down under for you, what would you think? A koala bear, maybe a kangaroo? A mad party on the beach at sunset? I think Jason Prince could do better than that. Though you might still need your sunglasses. I'm joined today by one of my favorite people in the world, and I really mean that. This lady is the Aussie songbird of all time, international superstar, and uh, celebrity friend. Did you say super tough? <laughs> I'm In all my glamorousness, I am here, and my fabulousness, I have arrived. Miss Kelly Wilde has entered the building. How are you doing, Kelly? Ta da! <laughs> Really good, darling. Absolutely fair. Thanks for having me on. It's so lovely you come to agree to do this show. I know. Because you're know. one of my friends in the entertainment industry that's really had success both sides of the pond. Ah. And I want to talk about when. When you told me that you loved me was number one in the dance chart in America. Uh, How was that period of time for you? Jason, that was a while. That was beautiful. I mean, I, saw, I heard the song, originally Diana Ross, right? And it was the ballad, and we did the dance version of that. And it was number one in the gay charts in America. I was so happy and so proud. And then Gloria was rising up the charts behind her, two in the charts at the same time at number eight. And then they crossed and Gloria went to number one. So basically you oh. had two songs in the top ten at the same time. Yeah. Can't be even say that. Well, it was incredible, an incredible time. And that song is so beautiful. Gloria's the one that we think of here, okay? It's really, I've never known anybody to <laughs> take on a song and make it their own as much as Gloria has become your theme song. When you think Kelly, you think Gloria. How did you first come to record that song? Ah, I, someone said to me, you should sing Gloria. It's a great classic, Gloria. And I heard the Italian version, which is the original version, and I loved it. I mean, it was a bit off the wall, and I thought, well, you know, I could be a little bit off the wall. I could, uh, I could get into that. Telephone's ringing, and God knows, I didn't want the telephone. And actually, I still, after all of these years, I mean, loads of years I've been singing Gloria, I still don't get it. I don't know what she is, I think she's a bit of a slap on the song. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a great song, and I love the audience into reaction with it, because everybody dances, everybody sings, they, we all jump up and down, we all go wild. But everybody's waiting for you to sing it. If you, I think if you didn't oh, sing it, you would get lynched. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. And it's a joy to sing it. I love singing. Well, with your theme song, Gloria, and all your other top 10 high energy hits, you've really become the queen of prides. This really has become your new nickname and your new slogan. Every year when we come to celebrate everything that is gay, you're our number one diva. Thank you. Well, far be it for me to be shy <laughs> and retiring. I don't want to be possum, I don't. No, I told that little Australian to <laughs> correct in there a little bit. Oh, no, no, no. They are known as the Queen of Pride. Yeah. And you're a Prince of Pride. <laughs> it's an honour to be accepted into the group of family. Yeah. It's an honour. And I have relished it and enjoyed it and been very privileged all of these years. Yeah, I'm very lucky. Tell us what life was like as a young girl spreading her oh, wings. Oh, that wasn't that long ago. Spreading her wings, <laughs> flying literally halfway across the world on your own. Yeah. And making it as a success in London. Ah, <laughs> well it was interesting because I was in the Far East <clears throat> and uh, I was already very successful in the Far East. When I got to England, no one knew who I was. And so you do what you do in England. You know, I swept floors, I did bar work, I did... Uh, I survived and found a couple of uh, jobs that uh, said, you can you sing? And that was a Chinese restaurant. I can sing Chinese. <laughs> so I went off and did a Chinese show and, and started to work it up from there. Then did the military bases, then got known in the West End clubs, which was like, everyone did them. I mean, oh God. But um, you could do like all your four gigs a night, couldn't you? I did seven gigs a night. Really? In all the, in all the clubs in the West End. 
I think my favourite clip of you on the internet is when Terry Wogan, who's one of our national <laughs> treasures, welcomes you onto the BBC to perform for us for Song for Europe. Oh my God. And I think that those gorgeous leggings look like they've been sprayed on with a paint, paint spray. Well, they, were, they were the 80s jeans that, that really tight, yeah, they were. And I had this, if you Google it, it's on uh, the Wogan show, A Song for Europe, singing You Better Be Good to Me, which is a great song. And I have this 18 inch waist. <laughs> I'm the tiniest little thing going. Oh, yes. As well as being a singer, an entertainer, a producer, a songwriter, you're also an agent. And you've got the biggest agency on the scene, Dance Crazy Management. I'm very you nice. must be very proud of yourself to be such a successful businesswoman. Well, people say that, I, I thank you. I haven't actually, you don't see it for yourself. You don't see it yourself, you just survive. In my, my, whole, my whole expression is, everybody's gotta eat. So, I wanna eat, and I work, and I do whatever I can to survive. And I love the agency, the agency gives me a chance to get out there, like when you're an artist, you're kind of secular, you know, secular. You, you do your own thing and you're very inside yourself. When you're working as an agent or management, you're able to work with other people. And that opens up a whole new ball game of, of when you go and do shows and you put on all the, say, 20 acts on one gig. It's such you're a responsibility though. It's such oh. a big responsibility. I don't think people see that from behind the scenes, but no, I think no. for you, because you're such a natural, I think the easy bit is the singing. But the business side, I've, I've been sitting there with you abroad when your phone's going every 10 minutes, someone's late, someone's not arrived, the venue's complained. There's a million and one things to think about if you put 20 right. acts in one day. And then do you think do you think this hairstyle is cheap? <laughs> I bleach to cover the gray hair. That's it for this week. Back to you in the studio, Zonovan.